Hi, this is Cookie from Food for the Ages, and today we're going to talk about mini cocoa cooking. Yes, I took the plunge, and I've got four of these little cuties made by Le Creuset. Today we'll be working on chicken pot pies. Uh, John and I are very glad to be back to Winter Park, where it is currently raining, but the bike season is on, and this is an internationally acclaimed biking destination. Like many of us up here at Winter Park, we want to spend our time outside biking, skiing, and doing other activities like hiking. So this is Mini Cocotte month uh, between June 15th and July 15th, and we'll be exploring many of the recipes. Okay, let's make those chicken pot pies. The recipe calls for two chicken breasts, but only use 16 ounces of meat, as only about a half cup of chicken can go into each cocotte. Another change to the recipe is that I'm using sweet Vidalia onions, chopped, not pearl onions. I'm using 2% milk, not half and half, or cream. Let's add a quarter teaspoon of celery seed to make it taste like chicken pot pie. And instead of puff paste, which is expensive and takes a long time to make, I'm making 3 2 one paste, which is buttery and easy to make. 3 to one paste means three parts flour, two parts butter, and one part water. I used one and a half cups flour, one cup butter, and a half cup water. I had plenty left over to freeze and use for a quiche. Rub the butter into the flour, then add the water and quickly mix everything together, leaving lumps of butter. Then spread it out on a piece of plastic and place into the refrigerator and let rest at least a half hour. Peel a large carrot or two small carrots and cut them into small chunks. Cut up a sweet Vidalia onion to make three quarters of a cup. The recipe calls for six tablespoons of butter but we're cutting that in half and using three. Move the chicken breast from the oven after about 20 minutes and let them cool on the counter before cutting them up into large chunks. Once the onions have turned golden, I will be adding four tablespoons of flour, one and a half cups of chicken broth, three quarter cups chopped frozen broccoli that's thawed, and a quarter teaspoon of celery seed. Cut up the chicken into large chunks, but not too large as you're using mini cocottes. Remove your pie crust from the fridge and start rolling out small uh, bottom crusts for each of your cocottes. Handle your dough quickly while it's cool and Try not to tear it as you go. If you do, use water to fix your tears. This is a very soft dough, so it shouldn't tear and should be very pliable to use. I've added the flour and chicken stock already and have let the sauce simmer a few minutes. Now I'm adding chicken, carrots, broccoli, and the milk. Divide the filling equally between the four mini cocottes and add gravy to the bottom of each cocotte equally. Roll out the dough for the four mini cocottes and pierce for steam venting. Paint with egg wash milk mixture and place in oven and cook about 40 minutes. These were delicious with all the changes we made to the recipe. I recommend it. Go to foodfortheages.com for the complete recipe. Mm -hmm.